Hello to all DMMS staff, students, and community. Welcome to our final Mac News episode. This episode is jam-packed with some fun segments, goodbye clips, and more. You will see more Two Truths and a Lie, as well as some more teacher appreciation videos that were created by Mrs. Campbell's multimedia classes. Something new I learned this year is I learned what two plus two is, and that's four. I learned how to write an actual good poem. Um, I learned about medieval Rome. My name's Hayden. Uh, what I learned this year was I learned a lot of social study stuff, a lot of history, how to write essays in Mr. Ryan's class. Cause um, I, love I learned some cool things in the health unit. I have an adopted brother. I've crossed five states and I've been to New York. Hey Colts, this is two truths and one lie. One, I've been to Disneyland around 10 times. Two, I was born in Colorado and lived there for the first two years of my life. And three, I own over $2,000 in Legos. Can you guess the lie? The lie was that I was born in Colorado. See you next time. Siri, what does the fox say? Siri, do you know how to rap? And a onesie, and a twosie. Black fur, pointy ears, I'm hungry. Found three little houses in the country. Stomach as empty, I can hear it rumble. So that house made of straw is about to crumble. Gonna show you how we do it. I go huff and puff, blow your house in. Next one made of sticks. We redoing this again. I don't really care about the hairs on your chin. A house made of brick, then I'm coming down the chimney. Knock, knock. Who's there? Normally. Normally who? Normally I don't just knock on random doors. But yours was so nice. Har har. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. The sound of that is something quite atrocious. Hey Siri, call Santa. Calling 555. Wait, I am getting some electromagnetic interference from the North Pole. We thought it'd be fun to have all the anchors from this year participate in this episode as a farewell to a fantastic year. Number one, I was born in California. Number two, I have two pet dogs. Number three, I've been indoor skydiving. The lie was that I was born in California. Welcome back to MNSPN. Now we have some crazy basketball plays. Man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break my monitor, I swear! Brunson defends, snaps it outside to Wiggins. Goes by... <clears throat> you good, bro? Like, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm great, bro. What's going on with you? Thank you for watching MNSPN. Two truths and one lie. I have two contestants with me, Enzo Barrero and William Carter. These two are competing for a brand new van. Number one, 
I was born in Utah. Number two, I've never broken any bones. Or number three, I've been to Florida. I got it! Then why was it you were born in Utah? <laughs> Second round. Second contestant, Will and Carter. Oh, oh, hey, cut the cameras. I need to go to the hospital. I need to go to the hospital. I was born in Texas. I've never broken any of my bones. My grandfather was the founder of Lehigh in Utah as a pioneer. I have the why was you were born in Texas. Hi guys, this is Hamza Gailani and I'm here to do my two truths and a lie. My first one is that I was born in San Diego. My next one is that I love playing basketball. And the last one is that I'm a bad cook. Can you guess the lie? My lie was that I'm a bad cook. I cannot, I cannot wait, wait for, for summer, summer break. break. Do you have any plans this summer? My family is going to Disneyland. It's Morgan and Brooklyn, and today we're going on a break and asking kids random questions. Summer edition. Angelina. What are your plans for over the summer? Um, to go to the mall. Um, to hang out with friends. What's your favorite summer fruit? Mango. Juicy watermelon. Grapes. Strawberry. Would you rather go to the beach or go to a pool? Beach. The beach. Definitely the beach. Beach. Okay, thank you. Hi, my name is Lisa, and these are my two truths and a lie. One, I have a pet turtle. Two, I can speak two languages. And three, I'm an auntie of ten kids. Guess which one's the lie? My first one is I have eight Second pets. one is I was born in LA. And my third one is I am a family of five. Can you guess the lie? The lie is I have eight pets. I used to have eight pets, but not anymore. Bye. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. was a run because they, they flipped it to him on a lateral. They got he's going to take it. Look at this. He's going to throw. Touchdown. Ah. Oh, my. Oh, look at the. Different receivers, and this time he lost one. Are you sure about that? Are you running? Looking for Cruz. Oh man! And it's caught after being tipped in Cruz. Wow! To the Osweiler protected, nowhere to throw it until now. Hello, this is Michael Zapata, and this is my two truths and a lie. I play basketball. I have a cat. I and I have a dog. Can you guess it? 
The lie is I don't have a dog. Peace. Sadly, our amazing assistant principal, Ms. Punzel, will be leaving us next year. She will be moving to Miriam Mesa High School. They'll be getting a great new assistant principal. Make sure before the end of the year you check the Lost and Found. That's located in Student Services. Hey, Colch. Remember to go get your stuff from the Lost and Found. Hi everyone, this is Miss Stacy in Student Services. Uh, you already know that I have Lost and Found. If you can look on my desk here, I have lots of glasses, sunglasses, um, somebody's keys, not sure what they're to. I'm not sure if it's a house key. I do have some uh, jewelry, but if you've lost something, come see me. Lots of iPods, um, most of them don't have, wait, iPods, earpods right airpods most of them are missing one or don't have any so they're the cases fitbits watches um wallets more house keys so please come see me let's get your stuff back to you if this is any of your guys's make sure you come pick it up by the end of the school year so it doesn't get donated hi my name is riz and this is my two truths and a lie number one i used to live in the philippines when i was three years old Number two, I used to have 12 birds. Number three, I used to live in Canada. The lie is that I used to live in Canada. My name is Jaden, and these are my teachers in one lie. Number one, I have a twin sister. Number two, I lived in Dubai for a year. And number three, I have more than two pets. The lie is, I have more than two pets. Did you see the DNS production, Really Wonka? It was amazing. Here are our favorite highlights from the show.
you know, on my dad's side, um, my grandpa's sadly, oh wait, shoot, he can't have grass cancer, he's a guy. Leaving them help me get Arena 10 in Fortnite. No, you said it too fast. Today, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to use this teleportation device. So, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna put in your coordinates. I'm gonna just do 369. And then, you're gonna click this button on the back. I can't touch it because then I'll teleport to the, um, the area, but that's how you use it. You wanna cut it, zombie? You know what's nice? Shut up! Be inspirational, do your best, I don't know. Think outside the box. Do your best, kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then you're talking. Oh, 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 I have an idea. Yeah. My name's Chad. What, what, what do I have to say? Um. <laughs> how do you forget it? <laughs> how can you be creative at school? Making new friends and having a good time. Hey Colts, today we're going to be asking 8th graders their favorite memories of the year. The food on the East Coast trip. Favorite memory has to be the East Coast trip because you get to go with a couple of your friends to New York and it was fun. My favorite memory was probably the winter dance because I had a lot of fun. Uh, my favorite memory about 8th grade is probably the winter formal. Just cause I got to like see everyone like all dressed up and I got some nice 0.5s of all the principals. Uh, when the Hakka Hawaiians were dancing at the high school kickoff. Uh, my favorite memory was uh, the college <laughs> kickoff day. My favorite memory about 8th grade is probably the 8th grade winter form. To be honest, my favorite memory in 8th grade it was probably my renaissance, the renaissance rally that we did. Um, it was a very fun experience. We collected younger pictures of 8th graders. Can you guess who they are? Let's go. You guess the eighth grade correctly. <laughs> Hi, my name is Gavin Kandari. And my name is Gary Potato. My name is I'm Wally. And I'm Spencer. My name is Kenna. And my name is Berkeley. I'm Lance. And I'm Chandler. I'm Riley. And I'm Tiffany. Welcome to another edition of Mac News. News. Computer Arts here at Dorothy McElhane. I've been here about four months and I love this job working with all these Macintosh computers, teaching the kids something I love to do. Hey, this is a rapper producer. Another challenge. We are doing the piggyback ride challenge.
teachers get to come out and staff and enjoy having lunch with the students. Lunch at lunch is uh, a time where teachers can take their lunch into the quad, but we actually get to sit in either a beach chair or a lawn chair. It's pretty cool to have all the teachers out there eating amongst the students, and, and it's really cool when students come over and sit down and, and talk to their teachers and eat lunch with us. It's pretty fun, actually, because I feel like... Hey, Colts, Mr. Patain here. Just wanted to let you know how much we miss you, and how much we cannot wait to get you back here on campus. It's pretty lonely here without you. Um, I am up here on the stage in the quad looking out. And there's no students, no one. This is where we would have our rallies. This is where you would be eating lunch. This is where you would be laughing and hanging out with your friends. We need you back. But the most important thing is for you to stay home, stay healthy, get your work done every day. Make sure you're logging in every day to live instruction, keeping up on your assignments. And before you know it, we'll have you back on campus. All right, Colts, we'll see you soon. Bye. Hey guys, this is Josh Ellis, and I'm updating you on what is happening with COVID-19 in the U.S. If you didn't see, the governor of California implemented a stay-at-home order for all non-essential businesses in California for the next few weeks. One positive is that in a week's time, a patient will be given the first COVID vaccine in the U.S. The COVID vaccine will be given to medical doctors, then the most vulnerable people, and so on. That's all for the update, Colts, and we hope you have a great Christmas break. News, Ms. Campbell stepping down from her role as advisor. This does not mean there are no longer be Mac News episodes next year. Ms. Campbell's multimedia classes may air a few episodes, and schools, clubs, and activities can still submit videos to be posted. More on that comes next year. Here, Here are some, some goodbyes, goodbyes from our cults. I always knew this day would come. We'd be standing one by one. With our future in our hands So many dreams, so many plans I always knew after all these years There'd be laughter, there'd be tears But never thought I'd walk away With so much joy, but so much pain in his soul Peace out, Colts. It was definitely a year, and I hope you guys enjoyed every single Mac News we produced. Bye! Good morning, Colts. This is Mrs. Campbell signing out for the year. Uh, thank you to all students and parents of Mac News Admin for making it such a great, memorable year. Um, here's some goodbyes from our students and have a wonderful summer. Um, goodbye, Mac News. I'm going to miss you a lot. This year was a great year. We had so many successful segments and very successful episodes. We had our ups and downs, but we, we pushed through, you guys. We pushed through. Mac News this year has been really, really fun, and it's going to be really hard to say goodbye to Mac News. Um, one of my favorite memories is when we went to Disneyland. Bye, Mac News! We, I loved having this class. We made so many great memories. This class was so fun. See you, Colts. Bye, Mac, Bye, Mac News. News. See you later. Farewell, Colts. Bye Colts. See you Colts. Bye Colts. Another chapter in